Hello, hello. Uh, Punk Rockin' here again to show you how to add a PS4 controller to your RetroPie through Bluetooth. But uh, yeah, stay tuned after um, the video um, and I will give you uh, a few tips, a few gotchas, and some knowledge on the whole Bluetooth connection to the RetroPie thingamajig. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'll meet you over at the uh, TV. Alright, we're heading over to the uh, TV here to uh, map the PS4 controller. And uh, before we do anything, let's go ahead and make sure that your uh, PS4 is off and unplugged. Otherwise, every time you hit the uh, buttons to put it into pairing mode, your system is going to turn on and it'll piss you right the F off. So uh, go ahead and do that. Um, and then... We're going to go ahead and um, put the PS4 controller into uh, pairing mode. You're going to want to hold down the uh, share and the PS button at the same time. Keep holding it until you see a strobe light on the PS3. And then on the RetroPie, we're going to go to RetroPie, Bluetooth, And then we're going to want to go to register and connect to a Bluetooth device. That's number one. And it's going to search for it. All right, there it is, the top one. We're going to go ahead and hit the uh, A button. A and we're going to go down to number three. All the others don't work. I've tried them. Um, number three seems to work for me, so I'm going to go ahead and hit A a couple times on that. And there we go. Uh, successfully registered and connected. Um, if you get an error message, just go back, uh, go through, put your PS4 controller um, in pairing mode, run through the process again, and try to pair it. If that if the third option for some reason doesn't work for you, try all the other options. If none of the options uh, work for you, I will explain uh, why that could be in a minute, but uh, just bear with me here. So now that I have uh, paired it, we still have one more step to do, so I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Um, by the way, I am controlling this with my wired controller, so you should have a wired controller plugged in, otherwise you're not going to be able to control it. And I am going to go to um, I'm gonna hit the start button I'm gonna go to configure input and now there's two game pads detected uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit X on my uh, controller my PS4 and I'm gonna map it this is pretty self-explanatory everybody has their own preference of how they want to map the controller so just do it however you want to and when you're done here just hold down um i usually there you're supposed to just hold down a key to get out of there you might have to mess with it uh so yeah I'm now controlling the uh, RetroPly with no cables and through Bluetooth on my PS4 controller. Um, I can play any system with it. I just have to learn the buttons to each game. But uh, Google is your damn friend, man. He'll tell you what the fuck is going on. Um, but yeah, before I let you go, um, I thought I would mention a few things about Bluetooth uh, so you don't get pissed and throw your controller through the TV. Um, funniest videos I've ever seen is when a kid threw the Wiimote through the TV. Don't be that guy. Um, but anyway, uh, here we go. First thing uh, which I'd like to talk about is probably obvious, but um, I'll mention it anyway, is the connection isn't as solid as using a cable. Um, I have had disconnects with Bluetooth, uh, so just keep that in mind. You can always use the charging cable that came with the controller or um, micro USB to USB cable to connect directly to the RetroPie for the PS4. If you don't have enough length, um, I was seriously able to nab a pack of three 10 foot cables for 10 bucks. My opinion, way easier and less frustrating than Bluetooth, um, but uh, hey, to each their own. It's, you know, whatever works for you. 
Um, you can also pick up the Sony USB wireless adapter. Basically, that plugs into the Pi. I haven't tried this personally, but I have read and seen people have had success with it. Uh, so you can always go that route too. Um, lastly, Bluetooth might not always work with your PS4 controller, the one that you specifically have. Um, you remember those five options we had when pairing the controller? If none of those work, then you may just be shit out of luck for now. Uh, the reason is they believe it might be firmware. If that is the issue, then personally, again, I would just suck it up, buy a cable. Otherwise, updating the RetroPie might work. Um, but, again, I don't think it's worth the effort at that point. But, again, each their own. You know, whatever works for you. Me, I just want to play my games. I mean, uh, uh, no cable controller is nice, but I I'm all about connection over and less frustration over anything else. Um, but, yeah. Um, you can use another method by using this thing called the user space controller driver that might get your uh, ps4 controller to work again i haven't done this yet but um i'll definitely throw up a video when i do mess with it and then a couple last general controller usage tips uh before i bounce here um, pairing mode again is the share button and the ps button until the thing flashes uh, the controller will never turn off until the battery runs out, so make sure to turn it off to do that. Hold the PS button down for about 10 seconds, in my opinion, until the damn thing turns off. I swear it's different every time. Uh, to wake the controller up, tap the PS button. To charge the controller, just simply plug it into a RetroPie PS4 computer and it'll charge. Um, so, for example, if you don't own a PS4, you could always go out and buy a PS4 controller and use that. That'll play any game under the sun. Um, like, you know, if you're playing, like I said, you can probably get away with playing Nintendo 64 or PlayStation with a Super Nintendo controller. You'll just be missing some buttons. With a PS4 controller, you'll be able to play probably every arcade game, PS1 all the way down. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching this video. Uh, that's all. Uh, I hope to have more on pairing different controllers in the future. Um, but, uh, I'm a huge Sony controller fan, um, so that's why I chose this first. Anyway, uh, take it easy, everybody.